Hi everybody, John here again. Uh, this is going to be my entry to Vinyl Dale's contest. Um, Dale asked us, or Simon asked us, to show our Wilburys. Um, he wants us to show a record or records by the various members of the Travelling Wilburys. That's uh, so what I'm going to do. So uh, I've got uh, a few Tom Petty albums. I must admit, I don't really spend any time listening to them. Perhaps I should do. Um, not he, up until now, he hasn't really been someone that I've been particularly interested in. But uh, well, I'm, I'm willing to give it a go. So uh, this is the most recent album by him that I have. I've got three others. Um, I couldn't tell you what they're called. <laughs> I have them because, well, you know, maybe I'll change my mind, so uh, yeah, well, perhaps I'll give them a go now. Um, I don't have any albums by Jeff Lynne, actually solo albums, but uh, I've got lots of ELO, and well, it's essentially Jeff Lynne's band, I think. Um, so this is Face the Music by Electric Light Or Orchestra. Um, I've got quite a few George Harrison albums. Uh, this is the one I'm going to show now. This is his most recent one that I have. Um, I think it's one of the, perhaps not the last album, but one of the last ones. Cloud Nine. Um, yeah. And then Bob Dylan. I don't have an awful lot of Bob Dylan records either, but I've got a few. Um, this is one of my favourite. Bob Dylan records I would say. Um, I got to know this when I was relatively young in my in my teens or late teens I think. Um, yeah my youngest sister was a particular big um, Bob Dylan fan at the time and I think she had a copy of this which I enjoyed listening to. Um, and, uh, so this is one that I've liked for many many years. Um, yeah, it's actually not a bad record. In fact, I would even put it up there some, somewhere in my favourite, my favourite top thirty, maybe somewhere. That's the train coming. And last uh, of all, I'm going to show Roy Orbison. Um, just another compilation. Uh, Roy Orbison's compilations are relatively. Um, Easy to find, I would say, on the high street. I, I mean, I, I have one or two, um, and this is the, you know, the one that's sort of come to me most recently. Uh, but I do um, think that they're not hard to find if you if you keep your eyes out. There is one <coughs> uh, Roy Orbison record which I've seen around before, and I'd always just assumed that it was a, a compilation album, but it wasn't. It was his. Um, it was his last one that he made before he died. Now, um, regarding that record, I since sort of come to understand that each of the members of the Travelling Wilburys uh, released an album around about the time or very, very soon after the first Travelling Wilburys album. Um, and there was a, a great deal of interaction between uh, each of them, I think. Um, you know, with songwriting, performing, playing instruments, producing each other's music and that sort of thing. Um, and I find that intriguing. I, di I didn't know that was the case. Um, although, yeah, this this is quite travelling Wilburys-esque, I think, if you, if you listen to it. So um, I was surprised when I'd read up somewhere about that Tom Petty's album. Um, I can't remember which one it was, which one it was called. I'll put that here. Um, that some people consider that as being, um, you know, uh, almost like a Travelling Wilburys record. Um, I, I spoke to, well, I wrote to uh, Simon about this, and uh, his reply was that, uh, uh, if I, yeah, just sort of loosely um, paraphrasing here, but he says that each of those albums that came out around about the time were very much like that. Now, I thought... <coughs> This might be quite an interesting thing to do, Simon, if you're, if you're up for this. 
Um, so, Travelling Warbury's uh, first album, and then the next one that came out is Travelling Warbury's 3, Volume 3. Um, we've sort of spoken loosely about this idea that, um, yeah, wonder what happened to, to Volume 2. Now, yeah, we know that it was, it never existed, it was sort of a, an attempt to kind of, yeah, play with this sort of mystique of that there's some sort of a, a long history behind the Travelling Wilburys um, that doesn't really exist. Um, <clears throat> and having a sort of a missing album gives it, that, gives it that sort of sense of there's more to them than there really is. Um, I thought it would be fun to perhaps compile from those five albums that came out, George Harrison's, Bob Dylan's, uh, Jeff Lynne's, Roy Elberson's and Tom Petty's. From those five albums, compile a list of tracks that are most um, suited um, to fall under the Travelling Wilburys umbrella, if you like, and then compile those tracks in a list. Um, I can't press any records, but uh, you know, maybe we could, uh, could burn a CD. And um, I'm a designer by trade, so I, I design things. Um, quite like the idea of having a go at making a, a uh, Travelling Wilburys Volume 2 uh, CD cover. Um, if anyone's got any ideas of what, which of the tracks might be best suited to go on um, the Long Lost Travelling Wilburys Volume 2 album, uh, selected from those five albums uh, by the individual members made it shortly after the first album. Uh, just let me know and um, I'll see if I can't rustle up a CD and uh, yeah, compile that album and uh, just have a bit of fun doing that. Okay, so uh, Simon, I hope that's um, a good entry to your contest. Um, okay, well, right. thanks very much everybody. Check out my next video. Bye.